Now, with the travel red list being slashed and PCR tests being ditched for the double jabbed returning from many destinations, travel agents are reporting a surge in bookings, particularly for half term. Yeah, but if you're still keen to stay in the UK and you're prepared to put on your walking boots, Debbie McGee has a suggestion. Why not try a pilgrimage? Britain is home to miles of footpaths just begging to be walked. But there are rambles, there are hikes, and then there are pilgrimages. A few years ago, I was lucky enough to take part in the pilgrimage Camino to Santiago de Compostela in Spain, which leads to the shrine of St. James the Great. It's a really significant religious route, like many others around the world, but Britain hasn't been home to many pilgrimages for hundreds of years. The tradition of pilgrimages was brought to an abrupt end in 1538, when they were banned by Henry VIII. But there's a revival taking place. Guy Hayward is from the British Pilgrimage Trust, set up to promote pilgrimages right here in the UK. They want to reopen and update ancient routes here, and today he's agreed to take me on what's thought to be one of the oldest. We are on the Old Way pilgrimage to Canterbury, and here, this particular section, is the ancient ridgeway of the South Downs, and it's called Fell Beacon. So what is the difference between just doing a walk and a pilgrimage? The key thing that separates a walk from a pilgrimage is you set an intention at the beginning. There's some kind of inner question you have that you want answering, a, a problem in your life you want resolving, and you dedicate the journey to that, and then walk, and then see what comes. I just noticed this pebble here, and one thing that pilgrims can do is they hold it and think about something they want to let go of in their life and at the end of the journey let go of it so so that's... like getting rid of some grief or something that's upsetting you yeah or something, something. Like so that. maybe you could hold it and it could be something you could think of by the end i'm gonna have a think the old way dates back to at least 1360 it stretches all the way from southampton to canterbury the home of the shrine of saint thomas becket and a common destination for pilgrimages before they were banned. Maps from the time highlight churches and religious sites along the route. To do the whole thing would take around three weeks, so I'll just be seeing some of the highlights in the middle part of the route, not far from Eastbourne. So far, it's glorious. Where can we go in Britain on a pilgrimage? Well, pilgrimage just connects special pilgrim places, which can be churches, cathedrals, ancient trees, holy wells, river sources, prehistoric sites, hilltops, caves. So all of these places are everywhere in Britain, and it's just about joining up those dots. So it's for everyone, whatever your purse or whatever your beliefs, you can go and find a pilgrimage to suit you. Exactly. Open to all, bring your own beliefs. The Trust website gives lots of suggestions for other routes where you can join the dots between sacred and holy places, all of varying lengths and durations. But if you spend weeks on your pilgrimage, where do you sleep? So are there places along the way that the pilgrims can stay? Yeah, we are working on creating this network of sanctuary accommodation yeah. we're calling it and this is low-cost accommodation in churches and village halls and church halls and maybe even derelict farm buildings along our route is one such place so peter today i'm on a bit of a mini pilgrimage oh, yeah. so if i had just arrived mm. and you were offering me sanctuary what would you be offering me here here you are free to stay in, in, in this building as, uh, as long as you feel necessary for. There are loos, there's a little kitchen area, and there's reading material for everyone who needs it. Giving sanctuary is an active act of love. But no need for sanctuary for me today, as with just one day, there's only time for the highlights, like one particularly intriguing site near Wilmington in East Sussex. So what's this? This is the long man of Wilmington. <laughs> wow! <gasps> what is he? Well, I like to think he's the ultimate pilgrim with his two walking sticks or pilgrim staffs. 
on the night of Halloween, the sunshine will never touch him again until spring equinox. So he goes into darkness for six mm. months as a sort of a portal into the, the hollow mountain. So we leave the long man of Wilmington behind and walk on. So guys, this tree is just magnificent. Debbie, it's about 1600 years old. Wow. What's the significance to the modern day pilgrim? Well, a lot of people are feeling a need to connect to the earth. Is there anything else for us to see? There's just one more spot. I think you're going to like it. We are finishing our journey at Cookmere Haven, a few miles down the coast from Eastbourne. We are at Hope Gap, which is the next gap along from Cookmere Haven, which is the last unspoilt river estuary along the south of England. And in the distance, we have the Seven Sisters. Each one of those ridges of those white cliffs is a different sister. Oh, absolutely stunning. How have you experienced today? Well, for me, I think it's just, you know, it's a wonderful day to step off my treadmill of rushing around. But at the beginning, you told me that people often would, with this pebble, send away something they wanted to get out of their mind. For me, it's the feeling of imprisonment since the world went through COVID. So I'm going to throw my pebble into the sea and I'm going to let it take all of that anxiety of feeling mm. penned in and imprisoned. So let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, thanks, thanks, David. But you know, that was a bit gentle, that's that true. Wasn't I right, wasn't that. I suppose it depends how big the problems are. Exactly. If they're really big problems, exactly. give, it a, give it a good old laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been sending in pictures of your spiritual places. Steve Clark has sent in a picture of a trip he's taken to Glastonbury. Oh, that's beautiful. Thanks. It's a place that Brilliant. he recommends highly as a pilgrimage destination. Yeah. 